Hey guys, I'm really excited to share this with you today because I'm hoping it's going to help you to not use prescription drugs or any of the weird chemicals that they sell in stores. Uh, specifically in this instance, I'm talking about sinus infections and how to treat them naturally. So about a month ago, I had a sinus infection and they suck. They are so encumbering because the sinus pressure is outrageous and the headaches and the fatigue, it's just, it's terrible. And we shouldn't resort to taking some strange toxic substance that's going to pollute our body and I'm sure will we'll cure the, the problem. But a lot of times these prescription drugs and strange chemicals, they come along with a myriad of other uh, negative side effects. And we don't want that. We want our body to be back in balance as naturally as we can. We need to nurture ourselves with nature and we need to incorporate a whole system into our life to help prevent these illnesses and to not just mask it and take the easy way out by taking some quick acting but detrimental substance such as prescription pills. So how I did it was I used 100% pure tea tree oil. This stuff is awesome. It's antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, and antiseptic. It has a pleasant aroma, at least I think it's pretty strong, but it's uh, it's invigorating, the smell. Um, this stuff is really cool. The the indigenous people, the Bunjilung people of an eastern part of Australia were known to use this in traditional medicine. They would crush up the leaves and use it for um, colds or coughs. They would use the tree for cuts or sore throats, etc. And I really believe that we can learn a lot from indigenous people because they had a whole new level of intelligence. It was intuitional intelligence because they were so much more in harmony with the natural world around them, and I really strongly believe that humankind as a whole needs to revert back to that kind of lifestyle, that kind of paradigm. So how I did it was I got a big pot of water, and I boiled it up, got it real hot and steamy, and then I took it off the stove, and I put about four or five drops of tea tree oil in there. Then I put my head over the, over the pot and put a towel over my head and just breathe really deeply for about five or ten minutes and you'll definitely feel this working it's really refreshing especially afterwards you can blow your nose and it's just treating that um, virus or the infection that you have because usually sinus infections are viral typically but they can also be uh, fungal infections or bacterial infection as well and this stuff is going right up there and fighting that infection it's really awesome so I did that um, every day for about a week and just after a couple days my symptoms decreased significantly and I just kept doing it to be safe and after a week I stopped and my sinus infection was gone. Really, really amazing. I also took some Q-tips and put the tea tree oil on it and just kind of put it into my nose just to reiterate the, the power of the antibacterial or fungal antiseptic um, anti viral properties of this tea tree oil. What I also did was I used um, a neti pot and this is just basically nasal hygiene. Just used it to cleanse my nasal cavity and relieve some pressure. So this also helped a lot but uh, the most essential part of this curing process is the tea tree oil. At least I believe so. So I really hope this helps you out. If you have a sinus infection, try this please and don't result to taking these nasty, toxic chemicals. And if this doesn't work for you, do some research and try to find something. Don't resort to using these prescription pills. Please, please don't. Um, but it is important to remember that the way Western medicine makes it seem sometimes that we just take a pill and, oh, we're better now, it's really not how it should be. It's uh, There's such an unhealthy lifestyle promoted, and then we have this terrible drug that we give to people that yes, it does make it seem like they're cured, but it really doesn't help us in a um, full spectrum, positively positive way. We need to make sure that we approach health as a whole lifestyle. I mean, even just with natural remedies, taking a natural remedy, yeah, sure will help, but the real way to help is treat the whole mind-body system. So incorporating exercise, um, mental, spiritual practices such as meditation, yoga, any kind of physical exercise as well, um, good diet works as well, positive thoughts, all of this stuff will contribute to good health. 
So you want to make sure we avoid the illusion of Western medicine that we can keep living this unhealthy lifestyle and, oh, I'll take this pill and I'll be okay. There's other ways around it and natural ways are definitely, definitely the way to go. So thanks for watching and I really, really hope this helps you. I hope you're having an awesome holiday season and take care. I'll talk to you soon.